Well, let's begin learning about the use of CAD in the landscape field by starting up a, a piece of CAD software and you've downloaded Garden CAD and installed it. There should be a shortcut on the desktop. Just double click it and you'll come into the Garden CAD environment. The black area here is where we draw. So if we were drawing a simple courtyard, the boundaries, the wall of a courtyard, we'd drop into the draw drop down menu, pick line. And if you click somewhere down bottom left and then move up, you're drawing a line then you can go at say 45 degrees come across here and then down so draw four lines representing the boundaries of a courtyard that's all we want you to do to start with now choose the circle tool draw circle we'll pick circle radius and let's just put a circle in and click and drag there's a little circle representing the canopy of a plant. It'll become our first plant symbol. Use the wheel of the mouse and just roll in a little. It gives you a better opportunity to dress this symbol up. Pick draw and line again. And we'll draw. We're making a symbol. So we'll draw a couple of lines. You draw, line, click at the start point, click at the end point, and then right click to finish. So we've drawn a little symbol. Then I'd like you to wrap a box around everything just a click and a click everything gets highlighted right click and select create block and we'll call this one um, plant oops not plonk but p l a n t o one and we'll go we could type some notes in here there's a pick point option i'll select it pick point and i'll pick in the middle and and this and i'll say this is plant zero one. There might already be one here because I've been rehearsing it. So I'll go OK. And yes, I do want to re redefine it. So now when I select it, I've got one object instead of the three objects, the two lines and the circle. So make your first plant symbol and turn it into a compound symbol or in the lingo of computer aided design, turn it into a block. What you can then do is select it right click and copy it mark a point in the middle there and we can put say three copies of that symbol down we can select it and right click and scale and change the size of that particular symbol we could select it and rotate it by clicking in the middle and spin things around just to make things look a little different then I'd like you to go on and make a number of other symbols and uh, I've put a copy of these in the notes for you not a copy but you can make them any way you want you might again draw a circle of radius like so drag out you then zoom in you might want to go line out to here repeat the line and out to here repeat the line you can see I'm making a a much more complex symbol in that way repeat the line again through here you could put a box around these couldn't you and copy them and put them over here and copy another group and put them there then you could select this group and you could rotate that group around that point there then you could select it again and then you could move that group from there across to there and do the same here select that group and rotate that group and put it down around there and then select it again and then move it and there we have a much more complex symbol so to turn it into plant number three just select the whole lot select create block give it a name plant 03 and so on I'll just call this test for the moment pick point in the centre there and OK. That just means when we use it in other drawings it will come in anchored at that point. And again you could copy that and whack it through here. So I'm putting a number of copies. I could go back and pick the other one and copy it and put it in position there. If I need to I can rescale by clicking in there and pulling out. Can you see that I'll move across in that way. Can you see we're building up a landscape plan? It's your landscape plan using your symbols. And that's what we'd like you to do in this exercise. And then we'd like you to save this drawing. If you go File and Save, it'll automatically go into the Jobs folder and give it a meaningful name. 
and we'd like you to submit that folder as your first little, sorry, submit that drawing as your first little exercise.